I I am exhausted, as you can tell by my eyes. The bag under my eyes. It has been an incredibly busy week at work. It's a Friday night and it's 10.46 p.m. and I am just tired. I am so tired. <laughs> it looks like Mickey's tired as well. Anyway, I have an important question for you guys because in my last video, I got a comment saying that why do gay people on YouTube always talk about gay issues? Is that what they're only about or something like that? I don't know. If you actually look at a lot of my other videos, I don't talk about being gay the whole time and, you know, um, it kind of makes me want to throw a rainbow up all over their face. <laughs> yeah, I may have tweeted something like that. But you know what? Who cares? Whatever you do online with your own Tumblr, with your own YouTube channel, whatever you want to do with your own stuff, it's purely up to you because it's your content. People want to watch you or follow you, then they are free to do so. You, I'm not forcing people to do it or forcing people to watch. So um, if you don't like it, just switch it off. Anyway, as I digress, because I did say that um, you know, gay people don't always have to talk about being gay, but my question is, would you like to have a gay time? What I mean by a gay time is a golden gay time. Do you guys know what this is? It's a delicious ice cream. Oh my God, this is all melty and stuff. I think it's like vanilla and caramel ice cream covered in like biscuit bits. Yeah. Let me take a bite for you so you can see what's inside. Mmm. Who needs a boyfriend when you've got this? So now I'm recording a video on a Friday night by myself in my room while eating an ice cream. I don't know if there's any more lower that I can get at this point. No. I'm gonna finish it because otherwise it will melt. Yum! From wherever you are in the world, do you guys have golden gay times and are they ice creams, not just the things you have in bed? So all the other mischievous adventures that I've been to on this lovely Friday night, just been catching up on a few TV shows. I've just watched um, a couple of episodes of Revenge. I really like this show. I don't know if you guys like it or not, but I am enjoying it. Got a couple of happy endings episodes of season two. I finally caught up to everyone. Earlier on, I was also on YouTube. And you know sometimes when you get on YouTube and you watch a video, and then you watch another related video and you're video hopping, suddenly like a whole two hours go by and you don't realize. I was watching um, some intros to some 80s or early 90s kids cartoons and they are amazing. Some honorable mentions I would like to mention include Tailspin. <laughs> DuckTales, come on DuckTales. I'll rewrite history, DuckTales move. Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. <laughs> Gummy bears. The song is the air. Gummy bears. Bouncing here and there and everywhere. I want to give you some updates. Uh, not that you guys really care, but this is my current iPhone background. Ah. Yeah, that was interesting. I think I'm going to be in Toronto around May, June-ish next year. Fingers crossed. <laughs> a couple of tunes that I've been listening to at the moment include a band called San Cisco. They have a song called Awkward. They are a Triple J unearthed band. Triple J is an Australian radio station where I pretty much get a lot of my music taste from. One song that I keep on listening to, which isn't a new song, but it's by Justin Nuzuki. Nozuka? How do you say that? UI Windland and Sea. Oh my god, it's such a good song. He's just got this right amount of raspiness and I, I love it. I love Florence the Machine's two new songs, What the Water Gave Me and Check It Out. I'll shake it up or whatever. I cannot wait for her album Ceremonials to be coming out at the end of this month. And another one that's not so new, Benny Benassi's uh, Cinema. Uh, I love it. Anyway, that is all for tonight. I'm gonna watch Happy Endings and I hope you guys have a great weekend. Bye.